Hi everyone, this is Vikas and welcome all of you for uh, this uh, third video tutorial uh, which is uh, a part of uh, the Pandas tutorial series. Okay, so now uh, in previous videos we have seen that how to uh, how to import the Pandas and thereafter how to load the data set inside the Jupyter notebook environment. So uh, basically what happened when we open the Jupyter notebook environment so here you can just see this earlier uh, we have loaded the housing data set and which has only one sheet means this is complete Excel okay this is the complete Excel data set which could have multiple individual seats so earlier it has only one individual seat which is housing data set and we have loaded this data set but if we have a uh, more than one data set so in that case how to load that data in our Jupyter notebook today we'll see this so same thing first we have to import the pandas how to do that we have to write the command as uh, import pandas okay now here if I'll execute this and multiple times in the beginning it would give the errors and those who are uh, you know like those who are not pro so they are committing this kind of error I'll show you so uh, if I'll demonstrate in this time only so it would be better to understand and find that error once I execute this it will show an error why because see here this pandas word the first letter is capital it shows module not found error no module named pandas okay so we have to write the small p why we are showing this error in the demonstration because you should also find it out sometimes what if and if you are finding uh, like you are uh, executing some line of code and if it is getting error so uh, some uh, person would get freak out okay so that's the reason so we should understand the error part also in the demonstration so once uh, we execute this pandas has been loaded inside our uh, environment and once we have loaded any environment or any packages inside the Jupyter environment for the very first time then no, no need to go for next time now uh, what we'll do we have to load the data set so you can just check this out but here we have a confusion that which data set we wanted to load over here or load in this Jupyter environment so you can see this earlier we had only one data set which is housing but now we have two individual seats okay two individual seats inside this Excel data set so uh, we have to load these two individuals one by one and how to do that we can just check this out first we'll write data set house okay and this is a variable okay variable which is which uh, actually uh, contains the uh, information or contains the data so it is user defined means you can uh, keep this name as per your convenience so I kept this as a data set underscore house and we already know that this is a Excel data set so we have written pd dot read underscore Excel and then we have already know that the name of this uh, file is housing underscore excel let's verif verify it from here so you can see this it shows housing underscore excel okay uh, we have done that so earlier we have loaded using this command only w only we have written period read underscore excel then housing underscore excel but when we have multiple sheets individual seats so which seats I want to uh, load uh, in the name of uh, data set underscore house so uh, let's open this excel sheet once again first one is housing so inside this the sheet name is housing okay once I click on this add button it will add another sheet and if in this sheet any data is available so we have to give the name as a seat one so uh, right now we have option of renaming the sheet so once I right click on this sheet one it shows the rename option once I do that I'll just write it as a empty sheet okay this is how it works 
now first I would like to load housing so here we have to write seat underscore name okay seat underscore name and then I'll just write housing okay and just try to execute this now see this what does it show uh, it shows no such file or directory housing underscore excel why it shows error it shows error because here I have not given the uh, destination uh, of that fo uh, individual files or we can say extension of this file in the previous tutorials I already told you that if you forget to mention the extension it will throw an error okay and intentionally I have kept that because multiple times those who are novice they are creating this problem and they are getting error so here we already know that the file extension is dot xlsx so once I click on this now most probably it would work and once it is loaded then we'll go further so, so now you can just check this out it is loaded and uh, we already know that once we have loaded any data then we have to check the header and footer you can check this out the head header part of data set house and if we want to check the footer part of this data so the last five rows would be shown over here and in this case we can understand it has loaded data set properly now if we have to load the another sheet which is available inside this housing excel data set which is bmi underscore data so here please be careful while loading uh, this individual sheet you have to maintain the sheet name and this sheet name you have to type exactly which is available in this place which is bmi so b m and i are capital then underscore then data so we'll see I'll write uh, BMI and here I'll just write PD dot read underscore Excel and then again we have to write the Excel file name so housing underscore Excel dot XLSX and then we have to write sheet underscore name which is BMI then DATA -A. let's say let's just wait for a couple of minutes and sometimes don't worry because if your data set uh, has a uh, like a, a more a number of rows and more number of columns it means that it has a huge size so it will take some time sometimes it will goes uh, more than two to three minutes also so depending on the size of the data set we have to just wait okay but uh, this VMI is a smaller data set so that it is uh, loaded uh, in a short time now we have checked the header file which would show the very first five rows and again we'll check that BMI dot head sorry because now we have to check the tail so we have to write BMI dot tail okay so again the last five rows values have been given and uh, that rows are also considered as a record so this is how we can uh, use uh, if we have multiple sheet in our Excel data set okay so how to load the multiple sheets in this and let's assume in the previous tutorial we have loaded this housing uh, sheet and the f it was individual seat available inside that data set but when we have multiple seats so once you try to execute this code it will throw an error so in that case you have to just write that sheet underscore name and if there is a single sheet available inside this housing underscore excel dot xlsx so you can just avoid okay no need to write this sheet underscore name because by default sheet underscore name would be the very first sheet and which is the single sheet so this is how we can load the multiple uh, individual sheets using excel data set 
thank you so much and if you really appreciate uh, if you really appreciate our effort so please do like uh, and please do subscribe and please do uh, watch other uh, data series video thank you so much